Hi everyone, uh, myself from Ahmed Deshmukh. I belong to BSc third sem group PHG. This is our seminar activity, and my topic is going to be morphology of gastropoda. I'm going to submit this to Dr. Mayura Deshmukh, ma'am. She is assistant professor and head of the geology department at Shishwaji Science Institute, Amravati. Thank you. Further, so content it which includes introduction. We have some diagrams here, definitions, and the references. So let's begin gastropoda. Before knowing all, uh, before knowing the gastropoda, we should know the taxonomic rank. What is the taxonomic rank? According to Five Kingdom classification, class gastropoda lies under kingdom Alimenia, subkingdom Invertebrata, phylum Mollusca, and then it comes class gastropoda. What is gastropoda? Gastro means stomach and poda means feet. It is the one of the main class of phylum Mollusca. And gastropoda include snails, whales, limbs, etc. Some of the gastropoda are terrestrial, some are freshwater, while others are marine in nature. Then, before knowing the morphology, we should know about the character uh, sides of the organism. Postural part, the upper part uh, is known as a postural part. Backish part is called as a dorsal, and front and uh, front one is known as a ventral. And then it comes the anterior part. The organism mouth is always at the anterior part. So, first, the basic gastropoda is divided into two main body parts, spire and body wood. So, spires include protonies, suture line, apex. And spires are these most show the ornamentation and the body woods. The body woods is the last wood in which main organism lives. So, let's begin with what is the spire? All the wood except the last wood constitute the spire of the shell. Then what is a protonage? The closed posterior end is known as a protonage. Then comes the suture line. The wool are separated by the slight depression which is known as a suture and this line is known as a suture line. Then the terminal of a wool of the spile form is called as apex. Then we goes with the body wool. The last wool in which organism lives is known as body wool. As I said earlier, first the open the open anterior end here is known as a aperture. Then peristome. The margin of aperture is termed as a peristome. It inner leaves and outer leaves. The inner part of a peristome is known as a inner leaf, and the outer part of peristome is known as a outer leaf. Then there is a types of canal: anterior canal and posterior canal. As I said earlier, uh, siphonal canal, which is also known as a anterior canal here here we can show, show this this is a siphonal canal and then there is a anal canal which is like on the posterior side and this is canal is known as the anal canal then there is a pulomela present pulomela is a central pillar like existing from the apex to the base of the shield that is part is known as curumela and then operculum the aperture of a shield may be covered by the plate of potassium that is known as a operculum then to study the organization and organism and morphology we should know about the types of ornamentation there are various types of ornamentation which might be helpful for diagnosing or identification of organism so first is the axial this part is the axial ribs then there comes the sp sp uh, spiral lines or concentrated lines then there are complex ornamentation just like nodes, cancellate reticulates, threads, when smooth, concentratic lines, spikes, there are various. And these are the morphological characteristics of gastropod. Thank you. Thanks for sticking.